We're not trying to pick on D.L. Ugly around here. He's the black comic that goes on CNN and all these other shows, including The View. We're going to see a clip from him in a minute from The View, where he goes around explaining to people why white people are dangerous because they're always messing with black people. We're not so, I mean, he is what he is. I don't really care that much about him. But what I do care about is that he's a perfect representation of lots and lots of people in the, in, in the media, famous people, black and white, who insist that this whole black criminality that Colin's always talking about is one big fairy tale that he just made up. So we did one video on this the other day. Why don't we do another video where we give a couple of examples of uh, what D.L. Ugly is not talking about. The most dangerous place for black people to live is in white people's imagination. Um, mm. When you look at the fact, honestly, mm. if you, I, I, you can be, you can have just shot up 17 people mm -hmm. and the police will arrest you. Mm -hmm. They know you have a gun, mm -hmm. but they'll shoot the kid they thought had one. Mm -hmm. They'll shoot him in the back. And here, here's the thing, it's just, we live in an America right now where we've evolved. We believe that uh, a man can be a woman trapped in a woman's body, a woman can be a man trapped, but we inherently believe that black people are criminal. Mm -hmm. We can accept that, that, that you are a man trapped in a woman's body, but we don't, for some reason, we can't buy the notion that all black people aren't inherently criminal. And that's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it, it really, it really, and that we don't, like, like, like for every time something happens, they'll say, these dualities can't exist. You can't tell us we live in a country where you're innocent until proven guilty, but then okay you being murdered because he said you were guilty. The cop said you were guilty. Before they didn't try you. Before they tried yeah. Right. Right. And, 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 and the truth of the matter, America's never... For, we, there have been 200 race riots in America, um, primarily because black people have, or people of color have been killed by the police mm -hmm. with nobody they're about to account. Mm -hmm. That was before there was black on black crime. So what was it then? We've been murdered for reading, for looking somebody in the eye, for whistling at somebody. Mm -hmm. The murder of black people mm -hmm. uh, for, at the hands of people of authority mm -hmm. has always happened. Mm -hmm. and, yes. and police are doing what they've always done, which is the police for us have never been about protecting this earth. It's keeping you in your community where you belong and keeping you out of places you don't. That's, the, that's, just, that's just how it's... You know, mm -hmm. I... I uh... There are some good officers out there, a but lot. Nobody needs to say that, because we already know it. We know that. But, exactly. I, but, but let me make a distinction. The same officers that patrol uh, communities of wealth mm -hmm. aren't the same ones that control communities of color. That's They're true. not the same officers. That is true. That is true. I'm sorry there's no video on this, but this is from Indianapolis. A lot of argy-bargy in Indianapolis. A lot of black and white crime out there. Anyway, so a couple of fellas and a lovely lady saw a white guy, got white guy driving an SUV. They stole the SUV, took the guy somewhere. Uh, I think they maybe got some money off of him. Stole his SUV. Then they ran. Then he ran him over with an SUV. Now, D.L. Ugly, are white people doing that to, to black people, gay people, young people, old people, straight people, Amish, Eskimos, kitties, puppies, turtles, goldfish? Are they? Then show me. In the meantime, all you have to say is, well, it's all white people's imagination that black people are, that black crime is wildly out of proportion. There's such a mountain of this denial, deceit, and delusion on this. That's why we have to do these videos every day to create a mountain of evidence countermanding this enormous amount of black hostility. Don't forget the hostility part. Because that's, I mean, that's what precedes the violence, right? And, you know, why don't we move over here to, I forget the name of this town. Again, these are things that just popped into my video today, my email today. Just the tip of the iceberg. Four fellas, they had a home invasion crew. They had illegal gun sales, drugs. They were just terrorizing the whole damn town. Mostly what? A lot of white people were victims of these home invasions. It's Okay, it's funny. There was somebody has a, a blog. I think it's called Wine No Wine. I apologize. That's not the name of it. But one of the geniuses in there that was telling me how, telling the moderator how wrong good old Colin was. He goes, listen, I read those stories. There's not one thing in there that says these crimes were racially motivated. That's the point, genius. 
we're focusing on exposing this denial, deceit, and delusion. We're documenting it every damn day. Well, you know, Precinct 4 investigators just released the mug shots of these suspects earlier this morning, and they say that they, all four of them are now already under arrest. And late this afternoon, we're also learning that two of those suspects who have been arrested are also wanted by the ATF on an extensive investigation involving firearms. I want you to take a good look because you may recognize some of these men and women. Many people are actually surprised by their ages. The youngest just turned 17 year old, years old. And also surprising is the fact that we're now seeing two men and two women working together. Authorities have taken these four into custody. We're talking about Dimitri Robinson, Marshall Warren, Jamer Fletcher, and Robin A. Nicholas, all accused in a violent armed robbery on the 22nd of June. Take a look at these surveillance photo photos. You can see one of the men there carrying what looks like an AR-15, another Another one of those suspects carrying what looks like a pistol. Investigators say that the group first cased the complex for more than an hour on June 22nd. Then they allegedly approached a man they knew who was walking in the parking lot. Deputies say one man held a gun to his head as they all forced their way inside the apartment. At that point, they say the suspect hit the victim with the gun, fired his weapon, and basically kept him hostage as the other three stole cell phones, jewelry, and other valuable items, including another weapon. Perhaps the most shocking part of all of this is that there were other family members, including a four-year-old child inside the apartment at the time. We're documenting it with people like that who still look at it and go, well, Colin, the newspapers said it didn't exist, so why do you have a right to say it exists? We don't talk about racially motivated. We talk about patterns. Racially motivated requires people to read people's minds. We don't do that around here. What we do is look at patterns. We expose patterns. We challenge you with patterns to ignore the patterns. Some people can. Some people, after seeing these videos for a while, they realize they can't, they cannot unsee them. Even if unseeing them would be the best way not to make the black kids angry. 